What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have an iconic AEW action figure review on the brand new AEW and Match Collection Series Number 3, Mr. Brody Lee. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm doing his alone or why I'm doing just this Mr. Brody Lee figure by itself in this video. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to pay respects to him. I want to pay respects to him and give him his own video, give him his own one-on-one -on -one review. No other figures to, to cover in this video, man. The spotlight is going to be all about Mr. Brody. Brody Lee. Rest in peace to Mr. John Huber. So this video will be in remembrance of John Huber and celebrating the life of him and Mr. Brody Lee, Luke Harper, every single character that he represented on our televisions in his independent scene days. This video is for him and I hope this review is fantastic, man. But this is a figure that we have long awaited for. I'm so excited to finally have the unmatched collection Mr. Brody Lee in our grasp. I did pre-order this wave in Defender cases and I'm waiting on that order to come in, but I did get my other order here and I'm just so excited, man. As you guys can see here, this is probably my only complaint at least at my first glance at the figure is going to just be this right here man in box it's not a very pretty mock figure because they cut his forehead off like what is that i mean i guess they had to capture how big he was because he was a big dude right but i feel like they should have lowered the figure in some way i don't know how they could have done it I, I don't know i'm not you know i'm not over there i'm not making the decisions but there had to be a way to fit him in the in the packaging right so it didn't cut off right there but at least his face is there you know all these good things man but you got your standard unmatched collection packaging with the silver foil you got mr brody lee down the side. You got a beautiful image of the man in suit here. I would love to see us get an unrivaled figure in the suit. Hopefully that'll be the case. You guys will also notice right here it says three exclusive upper deck cards included. From now on with I think it's unrivaled and unmatched figures we will be getting upper deck cards included into the set in a pack. Now I don't know if the three cards that come with a specific figure are only to that figure. I don't know what the counts are. I don't know if there's autographs in there. I don't know what the whole details of that are. Maybe I can get some more info as we go along. But on the side you got eight EW, you got EW over there, number 17, beautiful image of the man there. On the back, you get another beautiful image of him there, Mr. Brody Lee, rest of the figures in the wave, which this is just a plain dark order unmatched collection, which is so sick. But I'll probably cover the rest of them in one single video, so stay tuned for that. We'll do a dark order unmatched collection review there. Should be pretty sweet. But this is from August 22nd, 2020 on Saturday Night Dynamite. But if we flip him around and we take another look at it, man, here he is in all of his glory. With all that being said, man, let's go ahead and crack Mr. Brody Lee out of his packaging and see what he's all about. This motherfucker doesn't like your food. So here is Mr. Brody Lee out of his packaging, looking quite magnificent, if you will. Spinning it around, man, he looks really good. I'm enjoying the figure thus far. I cannot wait to get into all the details with you guys, but we are, of course, going to take a look at his accessories first and then take a closer look at Brody Lee himself. But before we do that, I do want to unpackage or open this pack of AEW Unrivaled Unmatched Upper Deck Jazzwares cards. So you guys can see AEW Unrivaled Unmatched Jazzwares Upper Deck cards. So we are going to open this live on camera before we get into his accessories man but with all that being said let's open this pack and dive into mr brody lee's accessories so here we go guys we're gonna unbox or uh, open up this aew unrivaled unmatched jazz wears upper decks pack so i think it comes with three cards now again i don't know if these cards are predetermined you know like uh, i don't know if you get the same three cards every you know every brody lee ha has the same cards i don't know if that's the case or if there's actually a big variety that you can get i don't know if there's autos i don't know what's going on i don't know if these are brody lee exclusive cards you know, you get what I'm saying there. So we're going to just open these up and we're going to find out together here. So usually like you could just like peel this back like with Yu-Gi-Oh cards and thing and card packs that I've opened in the past. Usually you could just kind of tear that. But this seems to be a thicker pack here. And I'm not trying to damage any of these damn things. So there we go here. We're going to split it down the seam there so we can get them all out. And I can already see one superstar that we got there. But we have a beautiful one half of Private Party. We have Mark Quinn. We have Jungle Boy. And we have Jim Ross. So there you go. The, the three great packs right here. Are three great cards here. Pretty cool stuff. So Jungle Boy, Mark Quinn, and Jim Ross. Again, I have zero clue if these are exclusive to the Brody Lee or if they're just randomized there. But that is pretty cool right there. Are they numbered in any way? Just first edition. Upper Deck AEW. So this is number 23, number 24, and number 74. So that's pretty cool, man. First edition cards. I love that. That's awesome. And I love that they've implemented these with every figure going forward. That's cool. So I love the accessories that we're getting with Brody Lee, man. This, it's actually bringing a smile to 
my face just because uh, just just the Mr. Brody Lee and the papers, getting that in accessory form in our action figures is just wonderful, man. It just fits it so well, and it's just, it, it, like, every time I think of those segments, it brings a smile to my face. The ish is absolute gold, but let's get into the TNT Championship. Now, we have seen this before. I'm trying to think if we've seen it in the red and gold like this. I want to say we have, right? I, I could have swore we've had it in the red and gold before. I know we've had it in the red and silver. I know we've had the, you know, the, the way it looks now on TV with our Darby Allen, or we may not. It may not even be completely accurate yet. I think it is. But nonetheless, guys, you do have the gold-plated TNT Championship. Looks great. I love the way it looks. You got the AEW on the side plates. This title looks great. I would say they could probably downsize it a little bit, but at the same time, it's a championship belt, and it looks glorious, so I'm just gonna take it. TNT title looks really good. And then we get into the Peace La Resistance. I don't even know if I said that right. We have the stack of papers here, and I love that you get, like, a sculpted mold here. I will say, like, having this, this stuff branded on the back right here, like the copyright, I don't know, like, UK, Canada, I'm guessing, and then, like, some, co I, don't, I don't know what's going on back here. Can you copyright paper? I don't know. But you have a stack of papers here, and then you have, like, a dent right there, which is really cool, but you get some nice sculpt here. This could work perfectly for your backstage areas, man. Like, God, what a great prop. But you can also come in and throw it at the Dark Order and smack Evil Uno or John Silver in the face there. Ah! God damn it! I was told about the concussion pro- ah! Did you see that? Ah! Oh! Fuck! Fuck! Mr. Browdy, your papers! Mr. Browdy, your papers! Oh, oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? Who's taking there? Are you kidding me? But this is excellent, man. Holy crap. This is amazing. And not only do we get the stack of papers, but we also get the folded up or rolled up pieces of paper to beat the shish out of the Dark Order, man. Oh, 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 oh Miss Brody, Ms. please. Miss Brody. Yes, no, he's no, back no, at you. He's back at me. No. And this is great. It's a great sculpt. I love that it has this stuff sculpted in here. You get like a scroll, if you will, kind of sculpt going on. And I love it. I think they did a fantastic job on this. I'm so excited to actually have this in accessory form. So, if you guys don't know what these are from, if you haven't seen the Mr. Brody Lee and the papers, sort of, you know, different clips, you definitely need to find them on YouTube or do something. Do some investigation and go look those up, but Jesus, this is a cool accessory. So, you have your paper, you have your TNT Championship, and this is great accessories for Brody Lee, man. Wouldn't want it any other way. Great accessories for Brody Lee. Alright, guys, so taking a closer look at Brody Lee himself, starting out with the head sculpt. I like the head sculpt. I think it's solid. I like the likeness that we got going on. I think it does capture Sure. Mr. Brody Lee. Pretty damn good. I like it. You know, it's not the most detailed head. It kind of reminds me of like older Mattel a little bit. I think it's probably a little bit better than older Mattel, but it kind of has that cartoony esque look. It doesn't have the realistic feel. It doesn't have the true effects or anything like that. I like the man bun. I like the hair. I like the color of it and everything like that. I think it's solid. I think the likeness is definitely there. It looks like him, and that's all we can really ask for. It's just, it doesn't get like that texturing or, or kind of like, like that real look that the Elite 66 Bludgeon Brothers or Luke Harper figure has that we're going to take a look at, but I do like the head sculpt, and that is a good thing there, but going down into the chest, we finally have some damn chest hair, which looks beautiful. The Trent figure should have absolutely had this, but I like this new sculpt that we got going on. I don't think it's a Wardlow sculpt. I think this is a brand new sculpt here, but you got the triangle eye down there. You do have the Dark Order logo on the back. It all looks good. I like all the clean cleanliness that it has. Black wrist tape going down into the crotch mold. You got the belt on there. It has the continued logo down there on the design. Down the side, it does say Mr. Brody Lee or just Brody Lee in white. You got the black and white paneling all over the gray. Looks really, really good. A little bit of chipping up there. I don't think that's supposed to be there. On the other side, you have all the different numbers going down, which is pretty cool. All the way up to 11. I love that. I think that's freaking awesome. So all the designs, all the designs look good going all the way down. And then we do have the boot mold right here, which looks to be new. I think this is a new mold. I can absolutely see them using this as for a suited figure, but I've noticed that it goes up and down, but it doesn't really have ankle pivot for real. So the ankle pivot is kind of missing on this figure, which brings me into our articulation standpoint, which I want you guys to make sure that you see here so you guys can know exactly what you're getting here. So you can look down a decent bit, not really. Can't look up that much either. You do get the head rotation. No real pivoting here. You do get a solid ab crunch. He will pop off though, but to be as big as this guy is, I think he does get a pretty good ab crunch in there. You do have your ratchet joints that are louder than ever, especially this one. Woo wee! Double jointed arms, which feel good. Uh, the quality of this figure feels better than others. I don't know if that's an unmatched deal or just a, a Mr. Brody Lee deal, but the, the quality of the joints feels a little bit tighter and a little bit better with this Brody Lee figure. But he can do the splits. He's pretty decently. He's got the upper thigh cut over here. He does have the ball joints, so he can do the splits. He's like we mentioned. He's got the double jointed knees, which are great. He can pose around really well here. You know, AEW figures definitely probably win the pose battle. I don't know. Do they? They definitely have a better ab crunch, I'd say, probably than Mattel. But here is 
is the deal with the boots. You don't really get an ankle pivot. It can go up and down, but it really can't pivot at all. So you may uh, you may struggle with that. But I do like the Brody Lee figure, man. Really enjoying it so far. Let's get into some Brody Lee slash Luke Harper figure comparisons. Now for your Brody Lee figure comparisons, guys, you will see my Elite 35 fix up Luke Harper over here with the, the Elite 66 head on it. And then here's the Elite 66 with the Elite 35. So these, these are head swapped. If you guys want to see what the Elite 66 looks like with a Luke Harper head, this is what it looks like there. And you guys will notice this head skull probably has the best, like, Trifex look to it. But I feel like if you combine these two, you'd probably get this, right? That's kind of where I'm meaning on it. I, I mean, I like them overall. I do want to, like, zoom in here and take a closer look at it so you guys can see exactly what the difference is between the two. So you guys can see there, I, I mean, I like both in their own ways. You know, you get the more realistic tone on the left, but on the right, it probably has a little bit better likeness. And his hair was obviously longer there, but uh, I love both. I do probably on surgery want to see what the, you know, what the, the Elite 66 head looks like onto this figure right here. I want to say not too long ago, the Elite 66 Luke Harper was on Amazon pretty cheap compared to what it was going for. So that may be something you want to look into, but I'm really digging the way Brody Lee looks up next to the rest of them here. This may be the best Luke Harper slash Brody Lee ever. And I think it is. I think this is the best Luke Harper figure they've ever made. And I think, uh, you know, without any, you know, changes made, you know, this is straight out of the packaging. This is the best Brody Lee slash Luke Harper they've ever made. And then for more Mattel WWE figure comparisons, guys, here's like my makeshift Wyatt Colt sort of with the Brody Lee figure in there. And I like the way these guys look on camera right here. Wyatt family kind of reincarnated there. Or Wyatt family sort of brought together here in the review. I don't know why the damn, again, the exposure, man. God, it needs to stay like that. Look how clean that looks. And then like I take my hand away and it wants to blow out for some reason. But there is that. They look really good up next to each other. I'm excited to see that. I'm gonna put my hand right here just to fix the coloring. But you guys see what I'm talking about. Brody Lee looks damn good. But I think that pretty much wraps up this AEW Match Collection Series number three, Mr. Brody Lee review, man. Another huge rest in peace to the legend, Mr. Brody Lee, man. Gone way too soon. An absolute unit of a talent. Super talented wrestler in and outside of the ring. On the mic, he could do it all. And this is a great figure to commemorate his memory, absolutely, man. I think that this is a beautiful piece, and I hope that it's not too crazy in the aftermarket. I don't know how hard it is gonna be to obtain. I don't think it'll be super, you know, unobtainable, but you never know with the AEW and WWE figure market, man. You never know. Like, it's the most unpredictable thing, man. It's, it's like, it's unbelievable how unpredictable it is. But if you want to grab this figure, I don't know if it's in stock right now at Ringside Collectibles. I don't think it is, but I think you could, like, add it to your wish list and stuff, and then it could email you when it comes in stock, and you'll have to be really quick to, you know, get that thing in there. So I think right now he is on back order, and I don't think he's, like, supposed to be in stock again until late March, so that is very unfortunate. But definitely go, you can go pre-order it right now at Ringside Collectibles, man, if you really want this figure. Go pre-order it. Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%, man. But a huge shout out to Mr. Brody Lee and the Huber family. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope you guys, if you guys own this figure, tell me if the cards are different in your pack. We have the Mark Quinn, the Jungle Boy, and the Jim Ross. So definitely let me know. But that is going to wrap this review up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all your things down in the comment section below. Did you guys grab Mr. Brody Lee? Do you guys think this is the best rendition of John Huber in figure form? Let me know down in the comment section, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my name toys i'll see you guys next time thank you and let's forever remember john huber you crossed